Matapos lumabas na nasa 7.1 trillion pesos na ang utang ng Pilipinas, pinabulaan na ni Department of Budget and Management Secretary Benjamin Jokno ang pahayag ng ilang kritiko na nahuhulog na ang bansa sa debt trap. Ayon kay Jokno, nag-iingat ang administrasyon sa pagpili ng mga proyekto para sa bansa na kinakailangang utangin. We're not falling into a debt trap, number one. Uh, we're very careful in the way we choose projects. Uh, there's a very rigorous process before you can have your project listed among the 75 major projects. And our rule of thumb is if the economic internal rate of return of the project is 10% or higher, then it's a go. It's a go. We will consider it. But if it's below 10%, it's a no go. Dagdag pa ni Jokno, sinisigurado nila na sa bawat kasunduan na kanilang pinapasok ay mayroong mapapakinabangan at hindi dehado ang bansa. Pagigit pa niya, mababa ang utang ng Pilipinas. We have a very low debt to, to GDP ratio of 40% and it's declining. And our debt, our foreign debt, is about only one-third of our total debt. So that's the other thing. So we're, 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 we're okay. okay. We're not going to fall into a debt trap. Sa pagsusuri, lumalabas na sa 7.1 trillion pesos na utang, 4.6 trillion pesos dito ay mula sa domestic lenders, habang 2.4 trillion pesos naman sa foreign sources. Samantala, bukod dito, nanindigan din si Jokno na hindi kailangan magpanik ng publiko sa maaaring pagtaas pa ng inflation para sa buwan ng Setyembre. We have, we have seen this kind of inflation before, much higher than this. Okay? Let's not panic. Let's not so panic among our own people. Okay? Uh, ang ataka at nature ng inflation is yung base effect. No? What does that mean? Kung mataas na siya ngayon, kasi yung inflation next year, halimbawa, November next year, kung compare mo sa November this year, baka bumaba pa nga yun mga 2% or 1%, baka nga negative pa yun. So let, let's just, uh, let's not so panic among our people. Okay? Tutol naman siya sa panawagan taasan ng minimum salary wage. Hindi rin anya solusyon sa inflation ang pagtataas ng sahod. So let's not push for higher wages at this time, especially given the significant tax cut that we we did under train train one right we're giving away uh what 12 billion every every month for to the taxpayers because we reduced the tax the maximum tax rate from 32 to 25 and that has the impact of uh giving the income tax filers an extra month of Ani Biko, news light